What's going on YouTube? Today's video, we're going to do a review on this new jump hodo tip. I want to thank Miguel, the business par partner of Nelson, the co-founder of hodo tips for sending me this jump tip. So I plan to put this on my propel, as you can see, this is going to be my propel jump cue and this is the shaft itself. But before we install that, let's go ahead and do the measurement of the tip itself. So this is the jump tip, as you can see, it is just about over 15 millimeters. And if you compare that to a regular playing tip out in the market, they average about 14 millimeters. And this is a G10 tip ferrule combined, and this measures out to 14.3 millimeters. Why is this important? Because if you have a QTEC propel, and you take the measurement of the tip itself, you're looking at 13.88, it rounds about 13.9 to 14 millimeters. So if you get one of the regular tips out in the market to put on your propel, you have to be really good at insulate, installing it because you have no tolerance. Or if you get a G10, you have a 0.3 tolerance, but this comes in 15, making you having one millimeter of tolerance to install this on your propel. So let's go ahead and install this on the Propel and I'm going to be using my Q, um, Mid-American q -Lay. and let's go ahead and do that now. The way I plan to remove this old tip is I'm going to be using this leather cutting tool and I'm just going to place it right on the edge. And go straight down. Once it gets a good cut, now let's go ahead and install this on the lay and clean this up.
Well, the installation is done. As you can see, this is a pretty, uh, pretty tip. It has, uh, it's white with a little bit of sparkles. So you can see that. And it cuts really nice. As you can see how it has the, um, this is the chips itself, what we call chips when you cut stuff on the lay. And it comes into a nice, nice, easy, workable, manageable cut because the G10 is nothing like this. So it's, it was easy with the razor blade. It was easy with the carbide tool. And let's go ahead and do the measurement again. And it is at 14. It's 14 and over here, 13.9, just like how the original would be. So now let's go ahead and test this out because that's the most important and putting a new, a new jump tip and see how it actually performs. The first thing I wanna test before I actually jump with the, the jump tip itself is actually how well it holds chalk. So let's go ahead and go test this out. So. Actually, it's not bad. You can see how it holds the chalk really well. So this should be able to control that cue ball a lot better when we do some jumps on this. Now I've got the two ball on the table and it's on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail and cue ball is about the same, first diamond on the short rail, second diamond on the long rail and five ball is about a diamond width apart from the cue ball. Let's see if I can make that two ball into the corner pocket. So that jump is not bad, as you can see, it's easy to control that cue ball. If I hit it a little bit more square, it will probably bend the stop shot. But this cue, and especially with that tip, makes it a lot jumped easier. For this jump, I'm going to be using a dart circ. I already moved the extension on the cue. And I got the cue ball and object ball, it's going to be a ball width apart. I got the two ball close to the side pocket, and hopefully I can control the cue ball and make the two ball into the side. So as you can see, that was a good control on the cue ball itself, and I had a very good lock on the cue ball when I did the jump shot. Again, I want to thank Nelson and Miguel for sending me this photo jump tip. I think this tip is amazing. It makes you focus on your jump shot versus on the cue ball and hoping it jumps over the object ball. Hopefully this video was informative. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me, don't forget the thumbs up. Bye-bye. I want to thank Miguel for sending me this jump photo break.